I'm Rebecca. This is my husband, Martin. We live in the Salt Lake City Avenues area, and we have two children, uh, Erica, who is uh, 24, and Michael, who's 19. Um, I, I have to say that some of our most favorite uh, times that we've had as a family is traveling. It's really great to be able to travel with the kids. We've been able to take them to Hawaii and Mexico and even just when we go camping as a family. It's probably some of the funnest times that we've had together as a family. Those, it's just, I, I can't even talk about, I mean it's hard to put into words the true joy that you feel when your kids are experiencing joy. Yeah, I, I remember coming home. Mm -hmm. um, there's a stage in, in being a parent when you're coming home and daddy's home is stated when you come through the door and the little girl or the little boy comes running to the door to hug you. There's nothing much like that. That's, that's neat. I, I've always enjoyed that. You know, I just love experiencing the world through their experience, or my children's experiences of it. You know, it's, and at whatever stage they've been at, it's been great. You know, just been, it's so interesting to watch them, whether they're infants or toddlers or preschoolers, them discovering life. You know, for me, uh, part of my decision making was uh, tied into the fact that um, my mother, my father died when I was 12 years old. Uh, and all my siblings were grown and they had uh, gotten married and left the home. Um, but I was, it was my mother and I, and she was a widow and she had not worked outside of the home. I think that that kind of imprinted on my mind that you can plan for whatever in terms of your spouse being with you. Um, you know, there have been a lot of discussions about families that divorce, but even people don't think about that something, something tragic can happen. That was kind of one of those things that I really thought about long and hard of if something were to happen and I were left on my own to take care of my children, what size of a family do I think that would be manageable? Each additional person impacts our, the resources of our, of our world and, and our natural environment. And, you know, it wasn't the first thing that we thought about, but it has some, been a part of how we've looked at growing our family is um, being, I would say that I'm a pretty much of a proponent of zero population growth. You know, one person to replace each one of us. Aside from all the things you've said, which are, mm -hmm. which are true, mm -hmm. I'd say go with the flow. Mm -hmm. you, you can't just sit down and say, okay, we're gonna have three children and this is how it's gonna mm -hmm. be, et cetera, because life isn't mm -hmm. that way. And life is a day-to-day -day event uh, somebody uh, gets in a car accident, something, they get sick, something happens, and things change. And so you need to have a good, strong foundation in your marriage to communicate with each other and be able to go through troubleshooting and how to handle problems before you have kids. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people, uh, at least uh, it's my observation, that they, they have kids kind of because, well, we don't think about it, but you know, here they are. Mm -hmm. So much of what we do in life is anticipation. Mm -hmm. I have anticipate that we're going to do this, that, and the other thing, you anticipate something different, then you're not going to get there. Mm -hmm. you, you have to both anticipate and have the same direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, Rebecca's um, uh, ethnic and religious background was much different than my ethnic and religious background. As a matter of fact, when we got married, we, we had friends looking at us going, boy, uh, that's going to be a challenge. And, and, and I found it to be exciting because uh, I, I like the um, ethnic traditions that Rebecca's family has. And, and I like some of the uh, religious background things that she has, and she's like some of mine. And so we've been able to mingle those together and train our children to accept and understand both sides. Mm -hmm. And it's worked out really well. But to be adaptable. Be, yeah, to be tolerant too. Mm -hmm. And we enjoy it. 